taking enough of, enough of your lip. Oh! You guys? My robots! Do what you will. They're all dead, buddy. <laughs> no! We should be quick about this. Give me the tripod. It's in the trunk. Spread them, boys. Hey, you want me to hold it? <laughs> okay. Hold still. Oh, yeah, gig. Attention! Stop! <coughs> One, One, two, two three. three. My name is Andre Kriegman. And I am Cal Gabriel. One, two, One, two three, go. And, and we, we are, are the, the army, army of two! two. <laughs> this is our high school, located in our town. It is our worst enemy. It is our nemesis. Fuck. What's next? Okay. There will be a series of missions followed by a final big ass mission <laughs> called Zero Day! <laughs> That's it. Oh, we're done now, right? Yeah. God, I hate this fucking school. I hate it. These are the best years of your life, Andre. <laughs> You recording? Yeah. The Army of Two has a myriad of supply depots all over the place. This one's in my closet. Probably about three, two or three meters of underwater burnt, underwater proof fuse, CO2 canisters for BB guns. Los Buletos de Mexico, 22 caliber. These are generally used for rifles and uh, sometimes pistols. Aguila. Christina Aguila. <laughs> Shotgun shell. I'm gonna close up with that. Twelve gauge. One of the most fun things we got here is we'll make a boom that'll blow your socks off. Bottle rockets, right here. Gonna have some real fun with these tonight. Uh, fake ID for if we need to skip the country. Fake passport right here. Fake social security card. Twenty Peruvian dollars. That'll probably buy us a stick of gum or something. All right. Um, we should probably start get going now. Let's rock and roll. Bothering taping? Are you gonna, you're not gonna see anything? I got night vision. Give me a look on your face. Say something official sounding. We officially declare war. Mission one. Do we have like M80s or something uh, a little more interesting? What are we? No, man. This is just like ceremonial. We'll blow the big shit up. Later. We'll blow the big shit up later. It's better to just keep a low profile. You know it. You mean you don't want anger management? <laughs> if I can help it, no. Check that out. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like you're a fucking ghost or something. <laughs> One, two, three. Let the countdown begin. I didn't know what we were gonna say. Let, Let the, the countdown, countdown begin. begin. Whoa! Heads up! That was good. It was alright. Yeah. What do you mean, alright? What are you talking about? That was great.
So everyone's asleep in my house now. Alright. So this is the first entry in my zero day video diary. Everything is planned so methodically. It's just gonna be it's gonna be unreal. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. It's so weird looking at yourself on video. It's like this is an eye. It's weird how it actually looks like a machine's pupil. I'm staring right at you through the tape. And right at you. We're gonna leave you all behind. Just sticks in the mud that Andre and I have made. And we're gonna walk away. See, we... We see more than you do. We... Hi guys! <laughs> Happy birthday, Andre! Happy birthday! Hi. I hope that's what you wanted. Yeah, exactly. Good, good yeah. cake there. Good cake, but how about good camera? The guy at the store said that little, um, what do you call that thing? That a little screen on the side there that uh, apparently and gives you a better picture. I don't think that's really accurate. Can I no, please? no, that that's that's not true yeah, at all. Yeah, please. So anyway, are you happy with your camera? You think it'll do? No, Dad, I want you to take it back right now. Of course. They don't do recaps. Excellent. Well, they will when I tell them to. Trail? What's the trail? Yeah, I hit the button. All right, no, check that out. Let me see the camera. Ask us what we're doing tonight, everyone. What are you doing tonight, so what's everyone? Doing? No, seriously, no. Now that I have you on tape, what are you up to tonight? Well, you know, figured uh, buy some weed and go to a kegger. I don't know. What do you think? Say that again, please. No, not weed, LSD. Oh, you know. Why don't LSD, you try PCP, ecstasy while you're at it? Heroin. Oh, ecstasy. Nah, we're done with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's an introductory no, drug. No, seriously. Okay, seriously. seriously, are you you're going out or yeah, you're well, staying in or what's gonna, the matter? We're just going to go out and do stuff, you know. We're not, we're no Brad Huffs here. Okay, Brad Huff. Okay. He. Captain of the wrestling team. Everyone thinks he's. That like, says it all. He's like, everyone thinks he's like a god. This kid, like, drinks and drives. And the cops pull him over all the time, but somehow they never take away his license or his stupid Range Rover. I hate that car. You know, I hate to be the guy, the, the, the guy to break it to you on the 18th birthday of all days. <laughs> but uh, life isn't always fair, you know. Just because he gets away with something and he's a bad guy, you know, sometimes you do good things and, and it goes totally unnoticed as well. So. Gee, that, that's a major mood booster right there. Who needs Prozac? And I got you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? It's, it's the truth, Andre. Don't sit there now and try to figure it out because it's you're wasting your time. You're not getting anywhere. And I can't even see you. Now I can. Well, thank you for breaking the news gently. Oh, listen. <laughs> I waited long enough. 18 years. See? <laughs> He's, you know, and then he goes around town and tells everybody what a smart guy he is. It's, it's nothing could be further from the truth. Thank you. No problem. Now you see what I have to put up with. Well, these are the best years of yeah, your life. Yeah, those would be the best years of your life. Uh, I think we better go now. You think so? Mind if we are vamoose? No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I, okay. Thank you, guys. Big oh, let's see. Oh, come on. <laughs> the group for the camera. Let's get out of here. If you want to come back. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, God! Oh, why? Why? a pretty lame party. Uh, I'm just not good at parties. So are you happy with the camera? It's not the one I wanted. 
I mean, when they say, what do you want for your birthday, and you, you give them a certain model, and then they just go out and get something else hey. completely. Hey! What are you doing out here? What's up, Chris? Not much. Where'd you get that thing? Let me see. Parents got it for me for my birthday. Uh, That's oh, pretty cool effects on it. I'm tripping. So what's up? Not much. What's up to you? Uh, How's everything? Not much. I don't know. I don't know how many people you're going to show up. But... Yeah, we probably won't stick around too much longer. Dude, what time is it? Yeah. It's candy makers over there, Chris. Yeah, you know there's white Russians in the freezer. Yeah, I saw that. So happy birthday. Without one. Thank you. Maria's sister has a lot of really hot friends. <laughs> None of them wear panties. You know, if you... <laughs> what the hell are these panties? How do you know they're not wearing panties? Because they had clothing on. It was just so tight and revealing. Thong's well, thongs thong don't count as panties. All right, we're going to head out All right. now, so I'll see you later. Hey. Thanks for letting us drop by. Uh, do you still shoot? Not much. You mind if we uh, tag along next time you go? Yeah. That would be very cool. We can yeah. shoot some stuff to animals. Yeah, sure. If your parents think it's all right. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll convince them. Yeah. Just, I'm going to call them. Yeah, of course you will. But yeah, absolutely. Next time I go. I want to go. I haven't been to much in year. All right, cool. All right, great. Well, see you later then. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. hey, goodbye. I'll see all you later. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, God. Boy, I smell it from here already. Boy, I can't smell it yet. Ugh. Dude, that's disgusting. I can't even get that fucking bag open. Get <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Want a sniff? No. How long have they been there? About six weeks. All right, well, I guess I should explain our, our first act of war. Basically, Brad Huff, the biggest shithead motherfucko the world has ever seen. He, he's everything we hate in one, one trusty, handy little form. We're gonna pelt that ugly, ugly piece of shit Range Rover of his with some six-week old eggs. Life isn't fair, so we gotta even the score a little. That's not Brad Huff's house. Nope. This is gonna be awesome, man. It'll be alright, yeah. I mean, all right. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be better if we had uh, shotguns, maybe. Ding dong. Hi, Mrs. Huff. Can we speak to uh, Brad? Is Brad home? Bradley, honey. Some friends of yours are here. Then he comes downstairs. What the fuck do you pussies want? I want you dead, bitch. Bang. Ch -ch bang. Get down. There it is. Where's his Land Rover? It's not here. You want to break into the garage and see if it's in there? And risk getting caught and arrested for breaking and entering and screwing up the whole campaign? No. No. We, we stick to plan B. That's we egg the house. What if that's him? What are you stopping at, motherfucker? What the fuck? Alright. We got about seven minutes. Until 12 o'clock. We do it exactly at 12. We stick to the timetable. We got to start learning to stick to the timetable. Dude, I can smell this shit from outside the bag. Oh, you can smell it walking down the street. <coughs> oh, we're gonna have to get new bags after this. No, like, we'll just or like a gallon of that Febreze shit. Febreze. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> now we wait. What time is it? We have ten seconds. Okay, good. It didn't break. Ready? Yeah. What now, Brad? <coughs> Hurry up. Oh, gross. And the wind up. Dude, let's get the fuck out of here now. Come on, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Dude, that was so fucking awesome. Did we win that? <laughs> That's I can honestly say. Mission successful. <laughs> Why are we running still? I don't know. Oh. <coughs> oh. 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 Oh.
In order to make sure that the covert actions of the Army of Two remain secret, we're starting up a security protocol that starts now. If you think about it, anybody who's done anything like this in the past has had a website up, or they've done something stupid to attract attention to themselves. Most of the time, that's all they wanted was attention. We're not like that. See, these people, they didn't understand that if you had hit lists with people's names on them, that people wouldn't come down on you like gang rape in a maximum security prison. You gotta take a minute and you gotta think about things. If you're doing something like this, it's an, a military procedure. That's why we're the army of two, not the group of assholes with guns. These people are so fucking stupid, it's not even funny. I mean, if it were me, I would get them all in a room together and I would just spray them with raid like ants, except like human raid, okay? Now you might be thinking, well, hey, they're taping this, so of course they want it to be found. And you're right, we do want it to be found. Since you're watching this now. Exactly. We don't want it to be found until we're ready. We've decided that we're gonna set up a safety deposit box. Now, as many of you know, safety deposit boxes cannot be legally opened by anybody except the owner, unless the owner dies. When we're done, we're going to bequeath all of our information to a third party source. Probably media. What are the top three media people that you would enjoy willing this to? Okay, number one, Peter Jennings. Number two, Dan Rather. And number three, Wolf Blitzer. That, that's what I say. Alright, we're here. You're gonna have to turn that off for when we go inside because they're not gonna let you have that. We are on location now in the bank security, bank, bank privacy room, security room, privacy room, whatever. And we are now going to put in the first set of record tapes to make sure that mommy doesn't find them under the bed. Hello? Hi, Mom. Um, right now, well, I'm with Cal. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be home for dinner. Mom, I said I was going to be home for dinner. I'm going to be home for dinner. Alright, bye. So, that is that on top of that, isn't it? So they really can't get in there? They can't get in. They can't touch us now. They have no access to these tapes once they're sealed back up there. No one can open them except for me. <laughs> Here, you want to you look inside the box and like... Hey, you want to touch it, Cal? Do you want to touch it, big boy? Here, touch my my box. Come on, touch it, really, touch it, touch it. You th you want to feel any questions that our viewers may have? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Steven Spielberg with Yeah. <laughs> this is just for, for posterity here. Here we go. You should come when we did the uppers. There's no fun doing the lowers. You know? Why not? What's the difference? Well, the uppers, then you get them smiling with all his braces on, and then they come out and they're nice and shiny. You should have gotten them when we started with his teeth were so nice. Yeah, I know, I missed it. So long, braces. Bye bye, braces. Goodbye. Each one of these kind of Cups the blue right off. And all I'm doing is squeezing the brace and then putting it inside for some more. Okay, bring it up, Cal. We're going to give Calvin his own little retainer. There you go. Get a little better than that. No, not like. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They're straight. I can't even believe it. Hi, mother. Ah! Come on. Was it worth the many years of years of trips here? Yeah. Mr. Bananas. It was worth it. Eat Mr. Bananas. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Home Gun Review. Well, today we're going to teach you how to make a big gun, small, and easier to conceal. Come on in. 
You see, these days, any time an 18-year-old wants to gear up, you got some 60-year-old loser sitting in a gun store saying, hmm, why does this 18-year-old want to gear up? And so, we found a not-so-clever solution to this problem. To this age-long dilemma. You see, there's so many guns just lying around, why draw attention to yourself by buying new ones? My dad taught me how to hunt when I was a wee young lad, and uh, he always made me wait downstairs so that I didn't know where he was getting the guns and where the key was. Truth be told, I've known where the key was since the fifth grade. I just hum I was just humoring him. Here she is. <laughs> All right, let's check out the others. Here. We have your standard 22 lever action. Personally, I'm not a big fan. Next, we have the pride of the Old West here. 20 gauge, double barrel shotgun. Cool. Now, in the time I've done that and closed it up, three football players have tackled me and bashed my head in with a chair. Not good. Single action pistol. It's all right. I mean, if you want to rob someone, I guess. Your POS 25 uh, caliber bullet pistol. This thing couldn't kill someone if you shot point blank range at their eye. This, this right here, this is like the dirty, hairy fucking gun right here. All right. I like that. Right there. This, this is probably my fav one of my favorite guns. I call her Malena. Okay, what are you doing? I am preparing the tools oh, for to apply this. Come on, Mel. Mel, get out of here. <laughs> this is what I call the short skirt from Malena right here. This is an illegally modified stock. Why is it illegal? Because it's illegal to make uh, a weapon more concealable because you have to have special licenses for concealed weapons. Fortunately, with our intents and purposes, we don't really need to worry about the legality of anything. No one cares when you order a stock. And why do they not care, you ask? Because it's a piece of wood. That's it. My best time so far is 64 seconds. I want to be able to do it at a moment's notice, because we never know when zero day's coming. Go. Done. 54 seconds. Hell yes! It's gonna stay in my dad's closet with the long skirt on for as long as it needs to, indefinitely if it has to. No one ever has to know or no one ever will know that I've made a short skirt unless I tell them. And then think about it. This sucker goes on 54 seconds. 54 seconds is all it takes for me to be able to hide this sucker come after you. Thank you for visiting us on this edition of Home Gun Show Review. For Andre and Cal, good night. Hey. Don't tell Dad, okay? Kermit. He was a frog. No, not, not Kermit. Fike. <laughs> Fike. Ebenezer B. Hannibal. <laughs> It's You're like walking five... on someone. That's all right. Okay. They're dead. Oh, is that a kid? Look, it's Willie. <laughs> Hi, Willie. What are we doing? We're just making fun of dead people. <laughs>
I like that name, Lillian. That's a cool name. I don't think I like the last name Tomlinson, though, because there's this kid who, um... Yeah, I don't want to go telling another story of when Cal got beat up. <laughs> but, by a Lillian? <laughs> no, it wasn't by a Lillian. It was by a Tomlinson. So he was a big, mean fifth grader? No, no, no. He was, like, an eighth grader. So where's the, where's the fun in that? I mean, I wouldn't even have beaten up a fifth grader if I was an eighth grader. I guess you would have. Andre's a violent one, not me. I just heard you say Andre's violent. I didn't say that. He's not violent, either. I don't know. Sometimes the... The way he talks about people and just interacts with everyone is just a You mean like a you? Little... Not me all the time. Just He's just a little offbeat and a little strange. What, do you think he's a bad influence on me, Mom? Oh, he doesn't like you either, so it's okay. That's all right. I don't really mind that much. It's just that, I don't know, you hang out with him a lot, and I just don't want you kind of, um... Becoming like him. <laughs> Why? What What do you think is him? He has a lot of anger. Problems or just anger in general? Well, he probably has anger because he has problems that I don't know about, you know, but... No, it isn't like his dad doesn't beat him or anything like oh, that. I didn't... Like, I'm your friend and all, and he's your friend, so he should at least try and be semi-courteous to me, but he's really not. He's a dick? <laughs> yeah, a lot of the time. I guess I just never conflict with him. Would you, who would you consider the leader of the Andre Cal army of two? Is it me or Andre? Andre? You think it's Andre? I, I don't know. When you're with him, you're just, you're different than you are now. How am I now? And now you're the cow that I've known for a really long time. And when you're with Andre, you're, like, Andre number two. <laughs> Wait, why Why do you think that, like, I'm not the... He's not cow number two, and I'm cow number one. How do you know that he isn't copying off of my, my style, you? <laughs> Unless you have some sort of evil locked inside that I've never seen before, it's Andre. Oh, I lock it inside. Nobody, <laughs> nobody sees it. I keep it from everyone. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you wear, did you wear get. boxers or briefs? Okay, or those it's your brief turn. You. No, no, no. About? You get up. You get up. And it is now my turn to do this to you. Podium. Can you tell me why you always have to tape everything? Because it's <laughs> kind of cool. And why do you think it's so cool? I, I guess that, I don't know. Why do, why do I tape everything? I have no idea. Come on, Cap. I, I don't. I just like it. Mm, no, it's just that Andre likes me to film uh, girls' asses for him. And... Oh, okay. I don't think that's really why you like to film things. I think you're still hiding something, Cal. I'm insecure and I need attention. <laughs> are, you, are you serious? Is that is that why you... Yeah, I seem really insecure to you, don't I? Yes, Cal. Me, I'm... No, I, I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe there is something that... Andre wants you to uh, videotape for him or something like that. Not necessarily everyone's ass, but <laughs> maybe he's gay. <laughs> and so I'm videotaping what? You. What is that for him? I want you to get out of the town because now Andre's going to see you on this tape. <laughs> see, I told you. I knew you were going to show it to him. I'm not going to okay. show it to him. Pipe bombs make excellent anti-personnel weaponry for two reasons. First, they're cheap and easy to manufacture. Basically, anybody can buy the components. And two, because they're extremely effective for their size. Baby bomb makes a big boom. These pipes are just normal galvanized steel. Don't get plastic pipes because they'll just end up melting. Don't get any more expensive metal than galvanized steel because you're just going to blow it up. As with building any weapon, security is key, and so you should... Just use common sense. Don't get the pipes at the same place you get the caps. No need to raise any issues or questions. Just go from store to store buying all the different components. They're all the same. Uh, when you're referring to making your explosives, you probably don't want to call them explosives because should someone overhear that conversation, they'll know what's going on. Um, you can use a code word, really anything, sunglasses, wallets, peanuts, you know, it doesn't matter. You might laugh now and say, oh, they're making peanuts, ha ha ha, that's funny. But 
if you think about it, it's the only way that people aren't going to realize what's going on. And it could very well be the difference between success and failure. I like to do everything step by step, very orderly and efficiently. So you take half the caps that you have and you drill holes into them. You put those aside and don't touch those for a while. You take fuse and you cut specific lengths. You can have a longer fuse if you want to have a, lots of fun, or you can have like a short little fuse if you want to just have a little grenade that you throw and blow. Once you're done cutting the fuses, you want to take the caps that you drilled, and you want to insert the fuse into the cap. Take the caps that you didn't drill, and fasten them under the bottom of the pipe. Now, once they're all fastened, you want to take the powder, and take your funnel, and then you want to put the powder in. There's basically two types of gunpowder that you can use. Smokeless powder and black powder. Smokeless powder burns slower because it's some chemical thing that involves no smoke, but black powder burns faster and makes a bigger boom. Uh, there's no need to spend a lot of money on the powder because all you're getting is a different name on the jar. It's all the same shit. Whatever blows up faster and is cheaper is the best stuff to go with. Don't wear a suit and tie when you're doing this stuff because the powder leaves black marks all over the place, as you can see, all right? On, on the gloves, some we had some like out. You want it leaves it all. Now you don't need that on your hands and on your arms and on your clothes, or on your floor because then let's say your parents or your friends say, "Hey, why do you have all those black marks on your hands and your clothes?" And you're going to be hard pressed to make an explanation. Shrapnel is important if you want to kill a lot of people, and it's probably the simplest ingredient because you can use pretty much anything. Uh, we use screws here, but you can use whatever the hell you feel like. Uh, Thumbtacks, uh, nails, small caliber bullets, uh, paper, clips. paper clips. Now that you have the pipe filled up with shrapnel and powder, you take the cap and you just screw it on, making sure that the fuse goes into the powder. Uh, we've also experimented with duct taping shrapnel to the outside, and as far as its effectiveness, uh, we can't say anything because we're not testing any of them and we won't be using them until zero day, so if you really want to know, you might want to ask a survivor. We've decided where the source of the other guns will be, besides Andre's father, which is going to be Chris. We're going to take them sometime before zero day. I feel a little bit guilty about taking them from Chris. But, you know, we are going to steal them from him. We're going to steal them from him, so, like, he won't get in any sort of trouble because of that, I don't think. It, I've been thinking, and it, it occurs to me that a lot of people are probably going to wonder, like, how could somebody do something like zero day, like what we're going to do? But I want to know is, how could somebody just... How could somebody just kill themselves? How many kids want to kill themselves and do? You know, thousands of kids do this. But how many of them realize that the way of the samurai is found in death? I'm not going to leave cleanly. I'm not just going to fade out. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make my mark, and then it'll be my time to die. I mean. It's a it's a lost cause when you when you just kill yourself, you know. It, it's it's almost a one in a million chance that two kids like me and Andre are, you know, come together. But you know that that's that's just this town's misfortune, I guess. No fortune. It's their fortune. It's your fortune. It's, it's, it's your fortune because you're going to be a privileged few who, who get the, 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 the wake-up call that we're delivering to you. You're going to get my, my meaning in this really concentrated, thick, jello -y form poured all over your homes. And everybody else will just have to see it on the news. And I know you're all going to be like, I had a cousin who was in the school and... No, good for you. Yeah. Listen to how out of tune this is, everybody. And all these little ones down here, there's like... All those, there's like 19 strings on here, and these down at the bottom are supposed to naturally resonate 
harmoniously to the to the uh, to these main strings right here, and I even have a broken string right here. All right, so this is pretty much mission three. It's it's like a uh, training simulation, I guess you could call it training sim. Um, it's a weapons test. We're working with my cousin Chris. He's who's our unwitting patsy and accomplice. Uh, he's gonna take us out shooting, and we're gonna record it. We're gonna kind of case this place at the same time and uh, see where he keeps keys and everything. And I want to make this clear right now. He has no idea what's going on. He doesn't know what we're doing. And he has no knowledge of anything that's happening. He just so, thinks we're going out to shoot with him. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're yeah, just yeah. going to shoot right now. There's nothing else going on. Nothing else going on. Yeah, that all right? Hey, you're both dressed for it. I brought a bunch of stuff. I brought like bowling pins, some cantaloupes. <laughs> we so. brought we brought some uh, a Barney look-alike, a Ninja Turtle, a Ninja Turtle. Outstanding. All right. All right. <laughs> my friend Jamie. He just oh, lent us Hello, a shotgun. Right now we're gonna we'll use the 22 first. <laughs> All right, we're out. What are we shooting next? Mm. This? Shoot the Lee Enfield. You put it in like that. Cool gun. It's really cool. It's loud though. Yeah. Well, you want to try it, Cal? <laughs> He's a natural. Natural selection. Oh my god. Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> it knocked your glasses down! <laughs> You're getting a lot more steady with the <laughs> Okay, who would like to try this? <laughs> Rapid, come on. That is very different. Look at how I grazed it. Look at that. My mommy was killed by a hunter. Now I will be too. <laughs> Pull the slide forward and it's ready to go. And make sure you point it right at it. Right in the <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Gun's the best gun. Uh, it's my favorite. It's got a lot of power and a little recoil. Perfect. Give me that radio. <laughs> now let me shoot her in the head. Are you filming me, yup? Nobody's filming you. 
Why are you looking at us? Do you ever take them out like that? Like all at once? All yeah, there? sometimes. Have all your neighbors looking? Well, where do you get them all? Oh, I bought them at, you know, the store. Oops. You know, I bought them at gun stores. Oh, I need this. I'm not thinking of I tell you, I'm so freaking tired, it's not even funny. Which gun do you think would be the best to actually kill somebody with? I don't know, they'd all pretty much kill somebody. The eight ball is supposed to be the last colorful ball with a number on it. Shh, go home. Maddie, black is not colorful. Shh, go home. Okay, never mind. It is, though. It's That's the, the presence absence. of all color. That's the absence of all color. You're having a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, do it. Do it this way. Ah, uh, that is cool. <laughs> that works so well. <laughs> You're the Jamaican dance. <laughs> Alright, come here. Why do old people carry canes? To scomomo you. And what scomomo mean? It means they whack you with their canes. What if all of the old people of the world united and they all took over the world with their canes? Ooh, that's scary. What if they whacked you and like cracked your skull? No, they wouldn't get that much power. It'd have to be a lot yeah, they of wouldn't. little. It'd have to be a lot of old people like whacking you and giving you bruises. Kind of like the birds. <laughs> they pick, 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 and you'd have little divots. Okay, go get dressed. I'm, I'm ready for some coffee. Read it all out, too. The Zero Day Invasion Plan. Presented by the Army of Two. Really, one question that you guys might have had is, why do they call it Zero Day? The people who've done this in the past have always had a predetermined date to do it on. May 27th or whatever. That's kind of sloppy, because if you have all these plans laying around saying May 27, May 27, May 27, and all been circled in big red ink, people are going to say, well, what the hell's going on on May 27th? So we decided that the easiest way to do it would be for us to coordinate everything so that we're ready at a moment's notice, and then do the attack on the first day of the year that's zero degrees. We set it up so that we wake up every day at the exact same time to the exact same radio station. Monday through Friday, we wake, and not counting Jewish holidays, of course. When we wake up in the morning, we hear the weather report first thing. Three degrees, four degrees, below seven. Doesn't work. <coughs> the first day we hear, excuse me, first day we hear the guy say, zero degrees, we get up, we get our shit, blow some people away. Now, the first day of school is tomorrow, and uh, so now we can basically come at it in time. So we figured now's the best time to go over the invasion plan and basically go through the guidelines and through the outline that we've produ produced so that you, the viewer, can go ahead and do such a thing on your own. The school resource officer is basically your main preliminary target to be considered. In order to maximize the effects of your attack, you should be sure to eliminate any opposition as soon as possible. Confinement of the enemy is paramount in light of the fact, fact that any who manages to escape can end your fun prematurely by using a cell phone or other unforeseen means of communication to alert the outside world before it's convenient. Keeping to this logic, it is important that, when conducting a room-by-room -room assault, each room's population is thoroughly and completely reduced. The Army of Two has deemed it wise to have a secondary escape plan should your plans go unforeseeably awry. However, it is not only unwise, but also counterproductive to rely too heavily on said plan, in light of the fact that you may become too comfortable with its implementation. The proceeding has been a basic yet detailed outline for our missions, ideals, and objectives. In conclusion, Live fast, live hard, and die by any combination of those two. Cool. The end. Okay. I've... You know, I've, I'm ready for zero day now. I'm ready for... for it to happen whenever it happens. I'm standing where I need to be standing, and I'm just trying to save this this spot that I'm at for when it actually happens because you know now's when I'm inspired so 
It's like I've been planning this forever. And when and when Andre and I came together, it was like that whole time before I had, you know, built up my part and he had built up his and then we came together and made this like point. And then from there, it all just you know what I mean? We never said, you know, let's go shoot the school, let's go do this. Because we didn't need to. It was already there. So I'm I'm ready. You ready? What the fuck? What? Why are you dressed like that? It's a mission. Why aren't you dressed? Because you didn't tell me what the mission was. If we're going to be going out somewhere, I don't know. I don't want to be caught off guard. So, you want to tell me what this secret mission is? Uh, no, actually. So what are we doing here now? A poem for Raleigh. Raleigh is a hard-working man. He turns our electricity's crank. He takes care of our children, like a modern-day Anne Frank. So if you get tired of life, if you feel you're getting bored, the church is Christ's wife. The house of our Lord. Thank you. What are you, what are you doing? Just some fun. The gun may be the perfect weapon, he said, standing between a rock and a hard place. But a gun is nothing without a bullet, I replied. I am my bullet. I live my life along the perfect, parabolic arch of, of purpose meaning. And then there was that time that you stepped on a landmine and I never forgave you. And you could feel the entire rise and fall of the Third Reich at your feet. It's a wasted life. Thank you. <coughs> Do you want to tell me what the fuck that was? Earlier at home. Yeah, I know what it was, but can you tell me why you did it? What, what were you thinking? What the fuck? Just a man. In the morning, in the beautiful It's really things, deep. The flowers. Bloom. Wait, is this a comedy act? Guys, come on, man. Look at you guys. There's like five other people in here. You guys make up 50% of the audience. Can you just... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. No, start again. Seriously? Dude, we paid attention when you were up here reading yours. Why can't you just listen to us? You point to me when I'm supposed to laugh, that's all. Alright, we're getting out of here. Sorry. God. Sorry about this, guys. Come on, we're leaving. Right now. Let's go. What the fuck? What? You take the camera. I don't even want to hold it. Anymore. No, you take it. I don't Jeez! Oh, you gotta come back! Bring it! Fuck you! Take this, I gotta drop. No, no. No, yes, take it. Dude, it was awesome. How many times do I have to explain this shit to you before you fucking understand? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Quit rolling the seat forward when you get out of the fucking car. Forgive me for speaking so bluntly, sir. And stop talking like you're in the fucking military. What happens if they go home and they tell their parents, hey, guess what happened? Some kid in an army shirt. So then they're like, oh, do they go to your school? Why, yes, they do. Well, I'm going to call the principal and get on the phone with him right away. They call the principal. You get called around in the office. You get sent to counseling or something. They, they, your parents tighten down on you. They call my parents. My parents tighten down on me. Fuck! Now what? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? We're done. So, so we're done here. We're done. We're done. We're done. Here, okay. Start the, start the, start the car. Pull up to the exit. Okay, ready? I want you to close your eyes. Okay. And drive. Go. You're just gonna tell me where to go. Yeah, do it. Go. Close your eyes. Uh, turn right, 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 right. Come on, keep them close. Right, right. Okay, straight, straight, straight. Are they really close? Come on, close them. Which way? Uh, left. Okay, now turn sharp left. Ready, straight. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy.
This is what my dad and I used to do. We used to go, just in case. We used to go like this and then just miss it. Like this. Oh, I wrote this. No, wait. I wrote that. I wrote that. One, two, seven, six, 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 Or I the, our original plan was that zero day would be on zero degrees, but it only happened once because it was so warm this winter, and that was the day that Andre had diarrhea. So we uh, set a date, yeah, May 1st. It's kind of interesting how we thought, like, you know, fate was going to decide when this happened, but, you know, in a way, May 1st is fate, too. I mean, when, when, we, when we started, you know, Andre and I had this plan that we were going to do this to our school and jump in the getaway car and go from state to state and do the same thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Andre may not realize this, but... That's not going to happen at all. Uh, you know, I'm coming out in a black plastic bag. Yep, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty hours. That's more than an entire day. So. Yep, someone's got to sit and sift through all that. Okay, I just have a question. I was just wondering if you're uh, actually sure that they're going to wonder if we have a safety deposit box and, box and look at it, or are we going to make a statement somewhere so that they'll, in a place that they're sure to find it? I mean, why would they check this if there's a safety well, deposit? the way I figured it, the day before we do it, we could, uh, or sometime ahead of time, before we do it, we can do a, uh, <coughs> kind of like a last will and testament kind of tape and saying, you know, by the way, we've left these tapes and these safety deposit boxes in my name. And then just be like, yeah. And if we'll leave it somewhere. Yeah, we'll leave it in the car when we go in. Oh, yeah. And we'll just have to, the last shot will be us walking in. And then they won't see anything else after that. And they're going to, no. like, actually watch them, though. <laughs> Wouldn't you watch them? I mean, think about it. Everything we ever did, everything we ever owned, everything we own right now is going to be scrutinized under, like, the biggest microscope the world can produce. I don't like that. Idea. Well, get used to it. Every CD you have, every, every <laughs> video game, they're going to go through and say, oh, Mortal Kombat, it was because of that. Yeah, but it wasn't because of any of that. They it wasn't giving them but, a false... But, but that's, that, that's just how stupid people are. I don't know. Just get rid of all your stuff, because that's like, um... Body cavity searching, searching through my stuff. I don't want people looking at my ass, and I don't want people looking at you know, all my stuff. <clears throat> oh, that's a good point. No, we just burn it or something. I just I had that in my hand. Is this gonna burn? Oh yes. What did you contribute to our little bonfire of fun here tonight? We've got video games, PlayStation games, we've got DVDs, lots of CDs, lots more CDs. We've got assault weapons. Uh, we've got Lord of the Flies. I had to read that for a book report in eighth grade. What'd you think? I thought I kicked ass, actually. My trusty old Sunday school Bible and I got this nice little snake sticker for memorizing the books of the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, uh, John, and Acts, Romans, uh, 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. We didn't get it from any video games, books, movies, CDs. This was our idea and Nobody else's. What is that? This is a note I got from a girl in like the 8th grade. 
Aww. And, uh, let me read. No, no, no. Come on, let me read. Andre, Stop. Come on. I've really enjoyed being in Mr. Ackerman's class with you this year. Mr. Ackerman is. No, come on, is, come on, no, come on, no, come on, no, no, wait, come wait. On, no, no, he's enough, dumb. Man. Come on, but come on, no. But you always made me laugh with the jokes that you made about him, except for the time that he heard you and you got kicked out of class, frowny face. All right, enough now. I don't want you saying her name. All right, it's enough. How much stuff have we burned? Um, I'd probably say like two and a half, three thousand dollars. Yeah, I can go with that. Uh, <laughs> Shit. We gotta do it now. Uh, yeah, I think we just burned all of our worldly possessions. Everything. So what's going on with you in the prom? Are you still going with that chick? What chick? That, that Rachel bitch. Yeah. Why? Why not? I don't know, she's just kind of weird. I don't like her. She's like, she, she thinks I'm some kind of fucking psycho. She's always afraid of me. You are a fucking <laughs> psycho. <laughs> yeah, but so are you. Yeah, you're right. She doesn't even realize, oh, it must be your pretty boy, blonde, good looks. And, what do you mean? Oh, I'm gonna play with my hair now. Oh. oh. Shut up. <laughs> when she ask you? Like last week. Oh. Just after my acne cleared up. I don't know what's going on. Hey, who's who's the acne one here? Yo, shut up, alright? Shut all up. Right. Don't I can't believe you I... got asked. No, you're not going with anybody, are you? No. No. Well who says I didn't get asked? I just didn't want to go. You didn't get ass. That's a pile of shit. So? That makes sense. Even well, I mean, though they're, they're gonna say one of us was the leader. I mean, I really don't. I mean, we we joke, but I really don't think well, any one of us is is more of a leader than the other. Why don't we Why don't we split the press releases? All right. All right. I could be leader for half. You could be leader for half. Sounds good. Look at it dying out. That is so cool. Because every time the wind blows, it just goes out a little more. And the way we've talked about zero day, it's almost like that this fire is supposed to burn like a thousand feet tall and and uh, never burn out. But look at it, it's just like black crap now. We got a good chat of Greg here. Baby playing with the lights. I've had enough. But what if I was in love with the whip? She's had enough of me, Josh. She's had enough you know, of me. She's had enough of me, man. Ryan. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Guys, 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 guys. Can you let him in? What does he have Wait, with him? Hi, Cal. Nice Hi, to meet Cal. you. I'm I mean, Sarah. we haven't really formally met. Hey, Josh, how you doing? Hey. Come on in. Close the door. We gotta get going. And that was. Cal, say hi. Cal, how come you don't talk? Greg. Yes. So what's up? It works. Not much. Talk to me, Greg. Uh, I'm going stag to the prom. Woo, baby! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, we're going you know stag. Stag. We're going stag. You guys, you want me to sit back? You got to make room for her. I don't know where she's gonna sit. Come on, come on, the prom. Let's go. Let's go. Get back in the prom. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, you're trying. This is gonna be a good time, guys. <laughs> I told you to be the teacher of these years. Guys, this is going to rock the ass. Rock okay, the wait, ass. wait, wait, wait. What? It's going to rock the ass. Rock the rock ass. You're okay. It's going to rock the you ass. You're okay. Yeah, what's up? <gasps> hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? doing? We're partying. It's a prom, baby. Prom stands for promenade. I don't think he speaks English very well. What oh, do you uh, We're famous. Would you stop fucking saying that? <laughs> Jesus. Right? You're gay. Shut up. Hey. Girls don't say what they mean, right? You're they, right. What? You're right. Say you something must and agree they, with they me. say something and they mean another, right? Yeah, just exactly. Just, as an example. Yes, I would like you to give me a blowjob right now example. and you say it, that's what you mean. Yes. It's like I'm upset it means I'm upset. It doesn't mean I was happy and I, I'm upset and I don't know what it means. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, people are waving at it. Oh my gosh, there are Hi. people here. Hey! Hi. All right, let's get a shot of everybody. Last shot of everybody. Last shot.
Somebody has to do it. We all started it. You know how where I started. We all yeah. did this. You cannot start up on the top as the head uh, the head pizza man. That's true, but luckily I have absolutely no desire to be head pizza man. So yeah, I'm good. Don't don't become the head pizza man either. <laughs> yeah, don't I know it? There are better and bigger things out there for you. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I do believe. Whoa. <laughs> Take that curve a little bit slower next time, please. You didn't like Remember, that. this is a driving lesson. This is not Le Mans. I realize it's only a pizza drop, and uh, you don't seem to be doing that uh, important thing there. But uh, it's amazing how much it made you grow up in the last few months, maybe even a year already by now. If you keep this up, you're gonna you're gonna have that car paid in no time. Hopefully, you know. I never thought I was. Now wait a minute. I'm not finished with my speech here, but. Uh, <laughs> You know how difficult this is for me. I never thought I was going to say this, but I'm part of you. You did yeah. good. You never thought you were going to say it? Well, not that I don't always mean it, but you know me, I'm having a problem with saying these things. Absolutely. It's not necessarily the macho thing to say. Yeah, I guess you could. So keep doing thing. what you're doing, and you'll do just fine. Like I said, that car should be paid for in no time. And who knows, your mom and I will mom, maybe even help you out a little bit. Sounds good. each other a long time yeah how long, mm -hmm. have, how long have you known he's gay too long a long time <laughs> hardy har har so so how do you how do you feel about me take me to andre's please oh andre knows like everybody knows andre. where andre's is oh andre i don't you know where andre's is who's andre no actually i don't maybe maybe <laughs> it's not go to andre's and you can yeah stay how about you just show with us yeah, yeah he doesn't not, know who andre is on, and he doesn't know how to get there uh, can you take me to a, a specific place? Okay. Wait. Why, do you really have to go? All right. One. Yeah. Yeah, I have to go. So you wouldn't mind. Uh, why, why are you going? Can I escort Rachel to the remainder of the festivities? Of course. Okay, Rachel. Rachel. Find Josh. Yo, yo. He wants to know where you go. Let's get along. Uh, uh, not this one right here. Now this Andre. Now gay. 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 So yeah, now you're going to take a quick left Rach, right after... You're right. Nothing, we're having fun. Rachel's fine. We're all having fun. Yeah, Wheeler, I think, is the name. Wow. Is he going to come out and say hello yeah, to yeah. everyone? I'm really Is he come out? He's going to come out and greet you. Want him? <laughs> I know you love seeing his face, right? <laughs> I know, I do. Uh, that one right there. Stop, like, right here. Right here? Yeah. Right here? yeah. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah. Put this little thing up there. Where is he going? He's going to see Andre. Okay, what's the matter? Why don't you like What's the matter with Andre? There's a lot of the matter with Andre. Like what? I don't know. Is he anything like Cal? 
Cal's, that's Cal's supposed to be. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just quiet. Oh, hi, Cal. Cal! Hey. What's up? Cal's back. Uh, yeah, so um, Andre's naked and he's <laughs> joining us. That's great. Uh, so I'm going to go meet him. I'm the gay one. Naked. <laughs> yeah, I'll be naked. In let him go. Just let him go. Have fun. Uh, you okay? Bye, Cal. Yes, it was nice meeting you. I'll yes. see you and bye. Oh. Nice yeah, meeting you, Cal. Bye, oh. <laughs> 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 See you, see you bye. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> bye, Cal. See you later, Rev. Bye. Nice yeah. meeting you. Bye. Yeah. yeah. I had a good time. I hope bye, you Cal. Bye. You rock ass. You, you rock the ass. ass. <laughs> okay, I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, you're not gonna like Some things then. We acted alone. We obtained the weapons alone. And nobody knew that we were going to do this. Our, our, our parents had nothing to do with this, and so everybody knows they didn't know anything about it. I mean, when our parents find these tapes, I mean, what are they going to think? Oh my god, I was asleep upstairs while they were in the basement recording this. We could have known. We could have stopped them. No, no. That That's bullshit, Mom. Don't worry about that. All right, so you found us and you think, Jesus, I'm sending them to counseling. We have to stop this. We'd go through counseling, you know, we'd wait a period, and then... We'd just come out and do it anyway. Exactly. You know, you could think that you've cured us, and we'll make you believe that, but you can't cure somebody who has nothing wrong with them. Don't feel guilty about this. I mean, it's not your fault. We love you. I mean, we weren't... Morons like every other loser that's done this. I mean, we weren't a bunch of fuckos and retards who were just starving for attention. We fooled everybody. I mean, even if we hadn't, could you blame them for not noticing? I mean, who wants to think that their son, their student, their classmate, their peer, their employee is going to do something like that? There are no reasons, and you're all going to look for them, but you're not going to find them. So fuck you, fuck that, fuck the reasons. There are none. This isn't our faults. I mean, you made us what, made me what I am. For years, we've, I've been tormented by all of you assholes, okay? I, I was called a faggot for walking down the hall in school in a shirt that came from fucking J.C. Penny. It's a fucking shirt. Who the fuck cares? In Europe, in the medieval times, if somebody insulted somebody, you know, you, you whipped out your fucking sword, and you dueled them, and you killed them, and... Make no mistake, we've been insulted. Yeah. Now it's time for the duel. I know that this will be my, my last day. It's zero day, it's my last day, but that one day, I'm gonna live more fully than anyone has lived in their entire lives. We will be more powerful than God. We're going to be God. No, no mistake about that. We'll be fucking God. I mean, we decide who lives and who dies. Anybody who manages to get out, years from now, their fucking puny little life is going to have meaning, and they're going to thank us, because they're going to think that God spared their lives. It's too bad that this is what we have to do, but we're doing it, so... And don't waste this opportunity. Don't just say that these people's lives were lost for nothing because it's just stupid. Just wake up. We're not trying to waste anybody's life. We're trying to show people what they should value. Respect and love your fellow man. I mean, it might seem like we're hypocrites for saying these kind of things because we're not, or at least you don't think we're doing that. But we're doing the most respectful, most loving thing we can do right now. We're all animals. And eventually we'll all die out. So enjoy it while you can. One more thing. I have a safety deposit box at the First National Bank. I hereby bequeath it to CNN and Wolf Blitzer, or anybody, any media people who want it. I think that's it. Yeah. 
I don't want to like trash his computer. Anymore. All right, we'll leave his computer alone, but we gotta make it look like we broke in. There's a there's a there's a party across the street. I mean, it makes it a little different. We're not egging Brad Huff's house. There's still people sitting on the porch, so I don't. That won't be a problem. We'll we'll try to go around back. Dude, camouflage really works. Got it. It worked? No shit. Alright, just, I'll be maybe the front door. I'm gonna hurry up right through the window. We set the bag out on the bed. We'll take everything out. Here, just do it. Clips. Oh shit. Okay, good. They no, they didn't fall out. Backup shotgun, just in case. Put the safety on and just take it. We don't need to mess with it, right? Just wait. I want to see which side. He took the the indicator thing off. All right, I'm gonna put it back. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to get my brain blown out before zero day. Okay, can we can we leave now? Well, we'll wait, wait, we just just relax. Hold on, hold on. Take a breath. Relax. We're okay. No problems here. We got everything we came for. Yeah. Well, you know what? As for everything else, it'll take them a while. I'm writing Chris a note. Why? I. No, you're gonna fuck everything up. Don't leave a note. What if he finds it before it's time? A pen. Index card, okay, or envelope? Thank you note envelope. Yeah. Oh, right, right here. Just something that's right here. Chris, what am I gonna say? Uh, sorry, we stole your guns. Needed sorry. it for our secret plan. Uh, we stole your guns. We need it for a movie. <laughs> yeah. Hope you had fun at yo yo mama's mama's. Stay here when I pull up. Bring the stuff out. I'll be back in two minutes. That would not be him. Hi. Hi. What y'all doing? Uh, just making a little video. Of the neighbors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Give me the camera. Oh, my God. Pick it up. Hurry up. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Take it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, my God. Did we just... <laughs> Alright. I don't think I can tell you. Hunters. That's you. Be careful with that. Here are the four.